Okay, uh, students, today we will start talking about transport in living things. So we will be covering the part in transport in humans first. And the next video will cover the part for transport in plants. Okay, so it's a uh, bigger topic, which is why we'll be splitting it up into two components. Okay, now why do we need a transport system? So we have got two types of organisms. One type is what we know as multicellular organisms, which most of us are. And another type is what we know as the unicellular organism. Okay. So unicellular organism, as the name suggests, it is only made up of one cell. Okay. Whereas in multicellular organisms, for example, humans, animals, okay, they all have multiple number of cells, which is why we require a special transport system. So earlier on, we spoke about the process of diffusion and osmosis. And we also spoke about how we require surface area to volume ratio to be ideal. Okay, so when the organism is only one cell, okay, so just a simple one cell, it is in direct contact with the surroundings. So which means to say that substances are able to move into the cell for nutrients and waste products are able to move out of the cell very rapidly, which is why unicellular organisms do not require a special transport. Whereas in multicellular organisms, a special transport is required because we have got cells that are all the way inside. So for example, our liver is situated way inside the body compared to the surroundings. Okay? When you compare it to a unicellular, it is extremely close contact. Okay? So the purpose of the transport system is, as explained, is to receive substances, to remove waste products. Okay? So these have to take place so that life processes can happen efficiently. Okay. Now when we talk about the system itself, when you recall back, you will have the cellular organization level. So which means to recap, I have got cells. Multiple cells will give me tissues. Multiple tissues will give me organs. And then I will have my organ systems, which we are looking at now. And at the end, I have got my organism. Okay. So what are some of the other systems that we have got? We have got respiratory system. Okay. So the respiratory system is the one that we use for breathing and for, and for respiration. Digestive system is quite self-explanatory in the sense that it is used to digest food substances. Okay. Now, excretory system will involve the kidneys themselves in which substances are being excreted out. Okay, so what are these substances that are being excreted out will be of course the harmful substances plus if we have got excess water these will be excreted out in the form of urine okay so because this topic is about transportation in terms of the heart we also have the circulation system okay now circulation system just very briefly we will be looking at fish okay just a very short one to see in comparison with humans so in fish, it is a single circulation. Okay, so single circulation means if I have got one drop of blood, this one drop of blood will go through the entire cycle and only pass back into the heart once. Okay, whereas if we take a look at in terms of humans, humans what we have it is a double circulation. Okay, so double circulation means let's trace the blood itself. So deoxygenated blood coming back from here is going to go into the heart. Okay, so this same blood draw is going to leave out to enter to the surroundings of the lungs. Okay, and then the same drop of blood is going to come back to the heart and it will then leave to the rest of the body. Okay? So you can see that the blood itself is going to enter into the heart twice. The first time it will be here, deoxygenated blood, and the second time it will be here, which is oxygenated blood. Okay, so why is that possible or why is it made feasible is because it runs through the system twice. Okay, so before we start into this area, what we will have to know is actually how to identify the right and the left side. Okay? So when you are looking at the screen itself, you realize that your right hand okay, is actually the left side of the heart. All right, and your left hand is the right side side of the heart okay. 
Now, the right side of the heart carries deoxygenated blood, whereas the left side of your heart is going to carry oxygenated blood. Okay, make sure you got your left and right correct. Okay, so right side carries deoxygenated blood and left side carries back the oxygenated blood.